And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel where we talk about anything related to comic books like new releases, famous stories or video games based on comic books. Many of you probably know about The Flash, the latest DC movie that had people going crazy with the return of Michael Keaton as the Batman. It seems that the movie is based on Flashpoint, one of the most popular stories featuring The Flash. Wanna know more about it? Then gather around, true believers, cause today I'm gonna tell you a story. The story of Flashpoint. And with no further ado, let's start. The Creative Team Flashpoint was a five-issue story released in 2011, written by Geoff Johns and illustrated by Andy Kubert. Inks were done by Sandra Hope and Jesse Dolperdank, the colors by Alex Sinclair, and the lettering by Nick J. Napolitano. All of these people did an amazing job. Flashpoint is an incredible story with stunning guard, and all the panels with the flash running are really well drawn. And now, Flashpoint. We all know how Barry Allen became the Flash. He was struck by lightning in his forensics lab and gained super speed. He decided to use his powers to help people and eventually joined the Justice League. But all these are about to change. One day, Barry woke up in his lab, only to find out that one of his foes, Captain Cold, had somehow become a hero named Citizen Cold. Citizen Cold was fighting the Pied Piper and Barry decided to go and stop both of them from killing each other. I mean, he's a flash, he can deal with them, right? Well, no. Barry soon realized that he didn't have powers anymore, which was a second weird thing that he discovered after he woke up. And just wait till you see the third. When Barry tried to use the speed force, he accidentally fell down the stairs. And when he stood up, his mother was there. Yeah, that's right. His mother, who had been killed when Barry was still a kid, was there, alive and well. Why? Well, as you will find out soon. Barry knew that something had happened, something that changed reality as he knew it, but he needed help to turn things back to normal. Superman didn't seem to exist in that alternate timeline, and Aquaman and Wonder Woman were at war. Thankfully, Batman was still there, but he didn't seem willing to help. It turned out that this Batman wasn't Bruce Wayne, and he had never met Barry. He was Thomas Wayne. That's right, people. In this alternate timeline, Bruce Wayne died instead of his parents. Thomas became the Batman and devoted his life to fighting crime, while Martha, believe it or not, became the Joker. Barry told Batman that he was the Flash and he was from a different timeline, but Thomas didn't believe him. Out of nowhere, Flash's ring appeared, but Flash's suit wasn't inside. Instead of that, when Barry activated the ring, a reverse Flash's suit appeared. That's when Barry realized that Theo Barton was behind all this and left the ring there. Then he tried to explain to Thomas what was going on, that in the original timeline, the one he came from, Bruce was still alive. Only then did Thomas decide to help Barry turn things back to normal. But to do so, Barry needed his speed back, so he and Thomas tried to repeat the events that led to his transformation. That meant that the lightning had to strike Barry again. In their first attempt, Barry was burnt and almost died by the lightning that struck him, but he wanted to try again. Fortunately for him, their second attempt was a success, and he managed to get his powers back and just in time to save Batman who fell from the roof of Wayne Manor. After Barry created a new suit, he was officially back to being the Flash. After doing some research, Flash realized that not a single thing was similar to how it was in the original timeline. Way too many things had changed, and while these changes seemed irrelevant, they all had something in common. The Flash. Thon changed something in the past that had something to do with the Flash, and all the people close to the Flash were different in the present. Hal Jordan never became the Green Lantern. There was no Superman. Wonder Woman with her Amazons and Aquaman with his Atlanteans were at war. And, as you already know, Bruce Wayne wasn't the Batman. All these changes may not seem something that could affect the rest of the world, but the war between the Atlanteans and the Amazons didn't just affect Themyscira and Atlantis, but everyone on the planet. Millions had died because of it, and many more would join them. Flash tried to find someone who could help them beat Thon and fix things, and he discovered that there was a chance Superman was alive in that timeline. However, he was held in a government facility where they performed experiments on him, but no one else knew he existed. With the aid of Cyborg, who hadn't changed much, they set Superman free, but he ran, or more appropriately, flew away. The guards in the facility where they experimented on Superman went after Flash, Cyborg, and Batman but they managed to beat them with the help of a fellow man to woman. 
Soon, Barry realized that his memories were changing and were replaced by memories of the alternate timeline, and if they didn't hurry, he would forget the original timeline. To stop him from losing more memories and forgetting Bruce, Thomas injected him with phenytoin sodium, which would help Barry maintain his memories longer, but it wouldn't last forever. That's why Thomas took Barry to the Sazam family's house. There, Billy Batson, who had helped the Sandman once, could stop Barry's mind from getting worse. Unfortunately, he couldn't do much, but he got a glimpse of the original timeline and saw a different world, a world with hope. He was immediately brought back to the real sad world, however, when a gigantic tidal wave from Atlantis was about to destroy the world. That was when Barry realized that they had to help. He didn't know exactly what event changed the world, he didn't know where to find Thon, and he didn't know if he could fix things. That meant that they could be stuck in this world if he couldn't change what happened in the past. If they really were stuck there, then they had to do everything they could to protect it. If Barry couldn't save his world, then he could at least try to save this one. After gathering a team of superheroes including Batman, Cyborg, Element Woman, the Enchantress and Captain Thunder, who is basically the Sazam kids together, Flash attacked Aquaman and Wonder Woman. However, as it was revealed, the Enchantress was working with Wonder Woman. She separated the Sazam family and Wonder Woman killed Billy. Flash was shocked by the boy's death and that's when Thon, the reverse Flash himself, appeared. He claimed that everything that happened to the world was Barry's fault and believe it or not, Thon was right. Barry was so desperate to save his mother that he went to the past to prevent her from being killed. That was the event that changed the world. And as Thon said, the lives of the people closest to Barry were put on a broken path. Barry, without even knowing what he did, traded the life of his mother for the rest of the world. The reverse class also revealed that he had become a living paradox. When Barry changed history, he was running through the time stream, and because of that, he was removed from the timeline and became invulnerable to anything that happened in the past, present or future. Normally, Thon wanted Flash to live because his creation was depending on the Flash, but now he didn't care about anything that happened to the Flash because it wouldn't affect him and he could finally kill Barry. Just when he was about to kill him, Batman stopped Thon with a sword. Thon was so glad that he could finally destroy his arch nemesis that he forgot about everything else that was happening around them. After Flash was saved by Batman, he went back into the fight against Wonder Woman and Aquaman. Thankfully, another team of heroes arrived to help them, the Resistance. However, they weren't enough. The Enchantress was too strong and even wounded Batman. When all hope seemed to be lost, Superman appeared and managed to distract Wonder Woman and Aquaman. But even Superman wasn't enough to stop the attack that the Atlanteans had planned. They wanted to sink Britain, which had become the new Themyscira, home of the Amazons. And by doing that, they would basically crack the world in half. And just to make matters worse, Barry forgot the reason he was there. This was truly the end. There wasn't any hope of survival. Fortunately, Batman reminded the Flash that he had to run away and go to the past, so that he can change things and save all the people that died because of the war. But before doing so, Thomas gave the Flash a letter for his son Bruce, so that Barry could give it to him after changing the timeline. Then, Barry started running. In his attempt to go back to the past, he was accidentally drawn back to his mother, who told him that he had to let her die, so that millions could live. After one last hug with his mother, Barry was ready to go back. He found his past self and prevented him from saving his mother, thus turning the timeline back to normal. Well, sort of. After the events of Flashpoint, the Vertigo and the Wildstorm universe merged with the main DC universe, forming Prime Earth. Prime Earth was basically a reboot of the DC universe, where superheroes were a new phenomenon. All the old characters were still there though, even if they were younger or didn't have powers yet. The Justice League was assembled again, and everything was basically back to normal. Bruce Wayne even got the letter his father wrote for him when Barry went to the Batcave and told him about everything that had happened. Barry also revealed that even though he fixed everything, he still had memories of the life he lived with both of his parents in the other timeline. This could be some sort of temporal side effect, but in my opinion, it was a gift. Well guys, this was today's video. I hope you liked it and please let me know if there's any other story you wish you knew more about. If you really enjoyed this video, you can support me by subscribing, clicking the like button and allowing all notifications. So, until the next time, goodbye true believers!